Hi everyone, today we are going to read The Tree, written by Dana Lyons, illustrated by David Dania, four words by Julia Butterfly Hill and Pete Seeger. So, since yesterday was Earth Day, and Earth Day doesn't have to be celebrated just on one day a year, I wanted to read the tree for you. There's a river flowing near me, and I've watched that river change and grow. For 800 years I have lived here, through the wind, the fire, and the snow. I see salmon return every summer. And I watch young owls learning how to fly. I have felt the claws of the grizzly. grizzly bears and all types of bears like to scratch their backs on trees. And I've heard the lone wolf's cry. Oh, so pretty. I have seen great glaciers melting, and I've met lightning eye to eye. What does that mean? The tree has been struck by lightning before. But now I hear bulldozers coming, and I wonder, am I soon to die? Oh no. All of the forest animals are running. And look, the trees are disappearing. Why? Because the bulldozers are coming to knock them down? Why are the bulldozers knocking them down? They want the trees for their wood. Who will house the owl? And who will hold that river's shore? Where will the owls live now if all the trees are gone? And who will take refuge in my shadow if my shadow falls no more? There's no place for the, the crows and the ravens and the eagles to find shade. That's sad. But now I hear children running, circling my trunk, hands soft and strong. to trees. People are holding on to my branches. She's climbing up the, to the tree. 
that he's holding him all around the tree. They're going to protect it. So the wind may always carry my song. This is Red Leaf, Yellow Leaf by Lois Ellert. I've been saving this little leaf from my sugar maple tree so I could show it to you. I love my tree. First spring. I bet we're seeing lots of those leaves right now. It was born long before I was. The wind blew seeds from the big maple trees in the woods. They twirled and whirled as they fell to the ground. Those are the seeds of the maple tree. Seeds the squirrels didn't find lay sleeping among the leaves until they were covered with snow. When spring sun warmed the seeds, they sprouted and sent roots down into the soil. Tiny leaves unfolded on their stems. My tree would have been happy to stay there forever, but one day nursery workers came to the woods to collect tree sprouts. So people who work with plants and trees found the little tree. So these are maple tree roots. They're carefully holding it and they're going to probably plant it. <gasps> yes, they transplanted the sprouts and tended them year after year. Just as the trees were settling in, they were measured, marked, and uprooted again. The birdies were having fun. So now it's marked. It says Fall Delivery Garden Center. This is a black capped chickadee. Each ball of roots was wrapped and tied with twine. Sugar maple. So the roots are wrapped with burlap and then tied with twine. Oh, where's the squirrel going? It says medium growing pyram pyramid pyramidal deciduous broad leaved tree. Like sun, height 30 to 40 feet, spread 15 to 20 feet, hardy to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. My tree was loaded onto a truck filled with other trees and delivered to the garden center. The truck says, we love trees. My dogs like trees too. We went there in the fall and picked out my tree. Dad had a hole already dug waiting for it. Silver maple, Norway maple, Sugar maple. So they chose the sugar maple. When we got home, we lowered my tree into the hole. I held the trunk while dad covered the roots with soil. There's soil with earthworms. 
Are earthworms good for soil? Are they good for your plants? Mm -hmm. They help to give the soil more nutrients so your plants and trees grow big and strong. Now every night before I go to bed, I peek out the window and wave to my tree. When it snows, I hang up trees, hang up treats for the birds. Oh, how nice. Have you made any treats for the birds outside of your house? You can use a pine cone to put some peanut butter or nut butter on and put some bird seed. Or you can have a, a suet bag. Not sure what that is. Or another type of bird treat in the shape of a heart. Tie it to the branches. Each spring, I look for signs that my tree is growing. Here are maple tree flowers and young maple tree leaves. Here are the flowers. And here are the young leaves. And that in the middle is a kite. By late summer, the crown of leaves is bushy and green. I love it when the tree flowers turn into winged seeds. Those are the seeds. And when they fall to the ground, they spin, 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 spin. Hey, that's an airplane. That doesn't belong in the tree. But if you want to visit my tree, come in the fall. That's my favorite time. Can you guess why? What happened to all the furries? They changed colors. Really pretty red and orange colors. What's going to happen? Thank you. going to happen is since it's fall not now but in the story the leaves will fall to the ground and next spring new leaves will grow the end I hope you enjoyed red leaf yellow leaf have a good evening